Hello everyone, today I'm going to change my outro for the third time and show you all how I do it all by myself with no help whatsoever. Anyways, let's get into it. By the way, before we start the video, I would like to inform you that I now have a Discord server, Instagram, and Twitter. Link in the description. So, in total, my outro has 12 pages with their transitions and additional stuff. However, this time I'm going to do something different. Instead of the dark background I usually use for my outro, I'm going to make a more colourful background. That doesn't look so tense and serious to lighten up the mood. And the outro now has more characters compared to the other one. And to make it a little bit more interesting, I decided to do, draw some uh, finished illustrations for the last few shots. And the last one is actually going to be the entire cost of having a picnic, which is very wholesome and sweet. And by the time of recording this, I already finished it. I'm going to start editing. Anyway. The process wasn't that difficult, it's because I sketched this like about a few months ago and I uh, didn't have time to finish it. So one day I done a poll on YouTube in my community tab and told you all to choose which video do you want me to make and uh, making my outro won. I don't know how. I guess everyone really wants me to upgrade for a while. <laughs> Anyways, I also done another poll saying if you want commentary on uh, this uh, video or not because I honestly was very tired that time I didn't want to record I just wanted to post a no commentary video but uh, a lot of people really liked the last video I done with commentary so I managed to uh, sacrifice my uh, tiredness to make a high quality video instead which was very tiring, I know. Anyways, the polls made me have more motivation to finish this, not leave it and scrap it like I usually do. And I'm very happy with the finished results. As for the other stuff, my comic has been going pretty well. Uh, a little hint, I'm gonna have a little boss battle, or two little boss battles in this chapter but anyway the chapter is halfway finished halfway isn't too much literally the underestimate under whatever I don't know how to talk guys like ending it is literally an understatement I'm pretty close to the conclusion right now the conclusion of the entire story the conclusion of chapter 3 because chapter 3 was a very long chapter I originally wanted to make it into one episode but I didn't have time to draw everything so I split them in half I'm gonna do that a lot because I don't really have that much free time to actually draw how many pages even I actually finished my pages in the nick of speed. But anyway, I really like this credit page. Like, I don't think I'm going to switch it for a long, long time. I might say that I might switch it, like, after a year or something. But I'm not going to switch it for a while. It's because a lot of my OCs that I don't draw that much are in here. And I'm pretty happy I got to draw the OCs I didn't actually speak or introduce yeah especially these ones on the screen right now i usually draw them in my sketchbook now i drew them digitally they look pretty cute and adorable and i really like that and the process i usually do is just doing the sketch clean up then uh, doing the liner drawing the background coloring the background and the uh, shading this is gonna be a pretty long video <laughs> Because there's a lot of pages to do. Gotta try to shorten as much as I can if I need to. But anyways, enjoy this part of the process until I find a topic to talk about. <laughs>
Okay, from now on in this video, I will be recording from my screen recorder this time and not using a time lapse. But in the last picture of this video, I'll be using a time lapse, so it will be more easier and the video will be like 40 minutes long. But anyway, it's been a while since I used my screen recorder, so lucky me, I guess. It did lag this time, which is very nice. As for the time lapse feature in Magic Bank, I'm in love with it. I really like to use it when I'm uh, drawing like daily shorts or something. It's pretty useful. But as for the screen recorder, it kind of just gets the vibe a lot. That's why I like it, but I didn't really like it at the time because it was lagging. Uh, plus, you really get to see what the hell am I doing in my canvas right now. <laughs> you can see I had made a new sketching style right now. Like, when I sketch the body, I draw it with black. And when uh, I draw the clothes, I use a different color. And uh, when I... Uh, Add details, I use another color. I go it from animation technique and don't mind me searching my files for no reason because I need to get that picture immediately. But anyway, I made a new sketching style, I'm in love with it, I really like it. Also, the redesigned everyone's outfits for the next chapter, very useful. And uh, the emotions took me a while to get along with because. Uh, some of the mouths weren't right and I need to fix them a lot but anyway I really like how this bit picture turned out I really like my little OCs in uh, their new outfit and they really suit them that much and they all look so adorable and cute anyway my art style has got its form recently and uh, uh, although I didn't notice I'm pretty proud like I finally have an art style and it's not just a rip off of some random anime that I watch. Anyway, my C's had made a very nice introduction in my comic and now I get to draw them with each other, which is very nice, although I used to do that like right before I posted my comic, but who cares. Anyway, since there's six people in the background, I used a different method to color my background. I don't even think I even used six colors because I didn't count because I'm stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna skip some bits y'all because this video will be absolutely long, but now you can really get to see my outlining style. A little bit because I don't remember when this pit cuts out but I use a lot of my line variation to outline my characters the eyes were a little bit too high on the head because the hair the hair was covering it and I really didn't get to see the emotions very well I thought I was supposed to do everyone in their own layer and then merge them together in the end but the, the line arts ended up colliding with each other and i couldn't decide whether i wanted one to be above the other so i decided to make them separate just in case i needed to change that also the program i'm using is called uh, applica it's uh, technically medibang but it has a bunch of more features like it has a lot of brushes for free you can also make comics here but it's sad it does not have cloud so you can't really post them here you can draw it without wi-fi and uh the brushes here are amazing i used them a lot in the last illustration i drew for my outro but anyway I'm in love with this program. I mostly use it when I draft stuff and drawing very beautiful backgrounds because the brushes here are for free unlike Medibang because their premium feature didn't allow us to use the brushes for free so it kinda buffed like like it was a big iffy for everyone else like they have cool brushes but we have to pay for them like for a few months just to buy them so like no thank you. But Fire Applica is a very good application to use for drawing. Uh, plus, half of my animation and comedy skits were made in this program, so a uh, shout out to Fire Applica, it really helps. But I feel like this program is mostly used for storyboarding animations, not for actually 
making them because I don't really know how to like time stuff with this. I know how to storyboard, so I usually just basically edit it in my video editor. So I feel like this would be very good for storyboarding and not actual animation. I do actually have an animation program called Creator, but I don't really like it that much because it really lags a lot on me, so I don't like it because of that. But anyway, my line art style evolved a lot, especially the line variation. But anyway, enough of the line art happened to the base colouring. I skipped because it took forever, but the program was starting to a little bit lag on me. And now you can see why the hell I got this picture right next to me. It's very helpful if I'm not bothered to actually draw a do a color palette. Cause look at all those colors over there. Look, a lot of colors. I can't really fix it. Like differentiate between each of the colors. I also I forgot to make a little stripey on the color because I'm stupid. That always happens to me all the time. I always forget to like outline some stuff and there's accidentally too much gaps and all of that. Now time for the shading. The shading, I just use simple cell shading and one tip when you're shading, just block out everything. It's very useful. And uh, I mostly do the shadows on where I usually like that's stuff that are under it. For example, it's gonna be a shadow on the head a little bit, under the clothes where the hair is supposed to like touch the clothes and everything so that's where the shadows are going to be I passed all of these were headshots so none of them took that much time also I've been experimenting on my new eye shading style you don't really see how the hell I experiment on though in the time lapse but here's about how I do them in real time or sped up I technically just do the same thing but instead of me drawing the, pe the, drawing the black stuff on the eye I forgot what it's called I don't know <laughs> Still me drawing the people inside the eyes like normally I just use colour and uh, draw them while I'm shading and it makes it look alive and beautiful. As for everyone else, most of them had their eyes closed while the rest of them had their eyes open for more emotional dynamics and stuff. I don't really know how to say it, but like to make them look more natural, not like they're just standing there for no reason. There's some chaotic stuff happening here while they're taking off this photo. One tip when you're gonna shade some white stuff, don't use like grey that much because honestly draw shading with grey and white is just gonna look bad. Use an off-tone white, like for example his shell over here is off-tone red white but it's not too white, it's like too red a little bit. I use an uh, actual red colour to shade the thingy, the shirt and uh it makes it look more natural and the uh, white absorbs a lot of colors so you can shade white with literally any color you in existence but i mostly use blue because blue is pretty good and it's very fast but if i'm gonna make something fancy or there's some specific type of clothing which has an uh, off-tone white but if i use blue it's not gonna work i use the same color but a little bit more saturated so to multiply and lower the opacity also multiply is a very good layer mode use it for shadows a lot but you can use any layer mode you like but i mostly use multiply add and dodge but i mostly experiment when it comes to like drawing random fire or whatever thing that makes it chaotic and stuff speak of fire my comic is on fire literally there's a, the boss battle is legitimately going to take me days to finish, but like, it's going well. Uh, I post it up, updates regularly on the community tab, so check it out, comment, and like the thingy if you see it. Anyway, I almost finished the shading for this. Uh, I also found a way to shade the hoodie because 
for a random story I made, I drew Yasha in a different hoodie style and I decided to like change the way he the hoodie is like in his normal style because the hoodie I have is kind of stylized but it's a little bit logical now because the straps don't really go next to each other they're like flowing in their normal patterns but anyway this picture is done let's go let's move on to the next Okay, so this uh, illustration I'm doing right now has a very interesting story. Uh, well, it was because last year, in July 2022, I was in a YouTube live stream talent show thingy called British All Stars. Like, they're holding it to the kids around the area, or well, kind of, because we were kind of far away from there. And they did a YouTube live stream and I drew a piece like this on paper, like on live. I didn't get to finish it in the live. I posted it after I came back home and finished colouring because uh, the paper was pretty large and uh, I couldn't cover everything. It's been a year since I drew that but since I had time restrictions in that live I couldn't finished it properly and it was kind of rushed it wasn't my best piece right now but it looks good and like i really like it right now i decided to redraw it for the ending good finishing touch it has all my ocs and uh it's nice and fancy plus i really get to experiment with the brushes and i fire apple color they're amazing like they're literally just amazing. I wish Medibank had this, but apparently you can actually put them back in, but I don't know how. But their brushes are amazing. I especially like their pencil tool. It's just very nice and beautiful. It's just it took a while to find me this pencil tool. But anyway, I actually forgot to draw some characters here because to fill up the space. Because in my OG, some characters didn't really appear there because, like I said, it was rushed. So not a lot of people were on there. But there were a majority. Like, it wasn't that empty. It's just due to the rushed time schedule. Everything was just nice and spread out and some characters were there some characters were not the people who are missing were Nyama and Tai and uh, the others were already there everyone's kind of in their same positions it's just that since last year I didn't oh, I didn't really know how to do a background properly and now I do some perspectives got a little bit good and plus I put more detail to the map and like I said this was done on paper at the time so i didn't really get these equipment because the people on the live stream did not actually have any like projectors so they can film me doing my stuff online although it kind of sucked the finished product turned out pretty nicely i think they posted on the social media or something i don't really remember it was last year but due to them not having a projector i couldn't really film everything on my computer so i had to use a5 paper I mean, I mean, A2, A2, it was pretty ginormous, that paper. And plus, the, I had the prompt that time. I did, like, they didn't tell me to draw whatever I wanted. I did have the choice, but the thing is, they asked the audience, like, what the hell are you, do you want me to draw? And I'm like, okay, what do you want me to draw? So, a little girl over there basically said she wanted me to draw a garden, and that's where the prompt came from. So, I drew everything, like, in, uh... A garden. I'm gonna skip to a time lapse version because it's more quicker and uh, less like slow because there's a lot of people here. Like I said, shading a lot of people takes forever. Although this picture took me only two hours according to my screen recorder, it took me two hours to finish all of this. The two hours were in like one day. Is because I shaded it in another day because it was light late outside, so I had to like draw shade in another day. But I did manage to finish it like right before I went to bed, and uh, it was very good. Like the timing was perfect for shading. I basically done some simple cell shading to everything to make it look more alive, like the uh, original. But this is digital. 
And uh, I managed to actually finally make the robot have some gloss shades into it and not just be empty, which is very nice and lively. I changed some of the clothes a little bit, just a little bit. Like Shuka, Shuka's outfit is different than the OG one. And uh, Kuten's outfit got a little bit of a change. Anyways, that's all I got to show you for today. I'm pretty happy I managed to make a video of this and finish my credit page at the same time. The finished version will be here after I finish the video, obviously. But anyways, I'm pretty happy I got to show you all this process and uh, I managed to get a video out of it and not scrap it like my other projects. Anyway, the next few videos that are gonna be coming up are Draw My OC and some Choo Choo Charles and Max. That's enough for today, dudes. Bye!